Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This is 61st in the series where we're going to speak about a topic which is known as basis swaps. We all know that basis swaps pay a very, very critical role in the, in the, in the world of foreign exchange because we all know that basis swaps is all about when both the sides you have a floating rate structure. So in the today video, we are going to speak about how basis swap works, what are the various implications of the basis swaps and so on, so on and so forth. From this side, I'm Rahul Nodan, working as a corporate treasurer in EXL Services India, which is an Indian counterpart of a US NASDAQ listed firm, EXL Service Holding INC. I'm also working as a also working as a treasury trainer and business consultant for various forums across the world, predominantly in India and Singapore and also acting as a virtual treasurer for various companies in India and also in Singapore. You are most welcome to join my foreign exchange LinkedIn Academy which is roughly 62 million. 62 million at rahulmagan8 at the gmail.com You are welcome to join my foreign exchange group which is foreign exchange maybe thinkers on LinkedIn which is 2300 global members. You are also welcome to see my YouTube videos. You are welcome to see your daily motion and also contact me on the Facebook as well. And newly page page created page on page Facebook, which is foreign exchange maybe thinkers. I'm again reiterating, again restressing the fact that today we're going to speak about something which is known as basis swap. How basis swap is going to get work, and we are going to take a very simplistic example of basis swap. Now, what do you mean by basis swap? Basis swap is a swap wherein on both the sides you have a floating rate structure. Example: There is no fixed. Simplistically, there are various books with ortho orthodox orthodox mention that you can have a swap where in one side you have a fix, second side you have a fix, second so one side you have a fix, second side you have a floating. This you have a floating. This is fixed. This you have a floating. This you have a floating. This this is nothing but basis swap. Now, basis swap is of two types. One, basis swaps. With some basis point. And second basis swap is without basis point. Second kind of basis swap which do not have any without basis point is referred to as a LIBOR fiat. Now how the how how the how the LIBOR fiat is going to get work that we're going to cover in the next video. Now now in this video we are going to cover what do you mean by basis swap with basis point. We're going to take a very simple example. Assuming you have a company which is Infosys, and Infosys is taking a dollar loan of one billion dollar at L plus two hundred and fifty basis point. Now that L plus two hundred two hundred and fifty basis point. Can be hashed via three ways. One is principal only swap, coupon only swap, cross currency interest rate swap. To cover the basis swap, we are going to cover the, say, the, the second one, which is known as coupon only swap. Now, Infosys know that this is the structure that would happen in the game. This is the structure that would happen. Infosys is paying L plus. Suppose 250 basis point to assuming this is ECB loan, they are paying to a bank, say Credit Suisse. Now they want to hash that via coupon only swap. This is an example of a coupon only swap. Now, in coupon only swap, they have to L is a floating element. So, what coupon only swap is they are paying L, Infosys will continue to pay it now and and Tight, tight service would pay L. So the net liability would be L plus 250 minus L, which is LL cancelled out. Next would be 250 basis point. This is an example of a basis swap when both the sides you have a floating with basis point. However, nothing is free, so Infosys would pay Credit Suisse, USD, IRS, assuming this is of 10 years, 10 years USD, IRS is roughly 2.5%, so that would turn out to be a 5%, 2.5% plus 250 basis point, it, it would be 5%. That 5% they are going to, that is something which they fix themselves. So the net liability for uh, Infosys would be, Infosys would be 5%. Now. How the basis swap would work? 
This is L plus 250. This is L. USD IRS. Here we had a word about USD IRS. USD IRS is quoted three months and everything and it is a 10 year swap so payment would be happens happy and annually so to convert three months to six months you have to do you have to add an ICAP adjustment ICAP is nothing but a broker the largest broker which give, which gives you, gives you an adjustment so it would be 10 year basis for 10 10 year USD IRS 10 year USD IRS plus ICAP so assume we assume at 2.5 percent so this would look like that 2.4 percent plus 10 basis point which is 2.5 percent that ICAP adjustment to had this is another example of a basis swap when one side you have a floating, second side you again have a floating. You are you are having floating to floating. So basis swap is not something a very very uh, separate kind of swap which you have to trade individually. It is a swap when both the sides you have a floating rate. It, that could happen in uh, that could happen in in INR also. All the MyBill link bonds is, is 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 again an example of a basis swap. Now take a very simple example. Take from from domestic point of view. If Reliance Industries Limited would would issue 20,000 crores of bond and the bond would be like that it is on my board plus say 200 basis point that they have to pay that they have to pay now they can hedge that by OIS market so they are paying my board and now they would receive the my board so my board my board cancelled out the net liability would be 200 basis point plus OIS on the liability side now 10 year OIS is trading roughly 8% so net liability would be 10% for Reliance Industries Limited. This is a, another example of a basis swap when you have a floating hair and when you have a floating hair. So basis swap is not a very separate kind of swap. It is nothing but a simplistic swap when both the side you have a floating rate risk. So this is an example of a dollar. This is an example of an INR and that could happen in, 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 in anything. One thing which when both side of floating example here we take an example of dollar to dollar one thing that would also happen like this side you have a floating dollar and here which you are paying and here you are receiving euro on the second side now this is known as quanto swap because currencies are different on both the side this is nothing but the simplest example of a basis swap without before closing the videos, I would like to stress the fact that once you're going to do any interest rate swap deals, you should be very much concerned about what, what is the basis swap, how you're going to tackle that, what should be the way out, and so on and so forth. Because in our deal, basis swap is basis swap is, is not a very, very show off kind of thing. It, it, it is hidden in all, all kind of deals. So this is all about basis swap. You're welcome to email me at call me at 9899242978. You are welcome to email me at rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you very much and thanks for your time.